Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I think I touch my hair every single time I do it. Do you know why it is? You open the camera and you see yourself and you're like, you just fix like, you're like, oh, my hair looks a bit funny. I'm just going to like change it. Anyway, I put up on my Instagram that I was like decluttering and cleaning my, at my wardrobe. So it's about to be summer here in Sydney. And I've just like, my wardrobe is just packed with shit that I don't wear. And all these like winter clothes, which you just don't need in Sydney. It's not Melvin. So I'm doing a massive clean out. Already got three bags of clothes that I'm like going to sell. I'm going to make an Instagram account and just post the pictures. And if you want to buy it, you can buy it and just message me. Just like PayPal me, whatever. They'll be cheap. I put up on Instagram. Do you guys? Is this is like something interesting do you guys want to see which i thought no one would actually want to see or do and you guys said yes well instagram fam said yes so i'm doing that i really don't know like what exactly you want to see but here i am doing it anyway so i've started because i didn't think anyone would want to see this so here's like what i've started with so padding for a crop top so this is like what i'm doing is folding the stuff like the winter stuff that i'm going to put away and i'm going to have easier access to things like t-shirts and shorts so these drawers will fill up with t-shirts and these shelves and i'm putting away like all the hanging big woolly coats and stuff like that and then i'm making piles of things that i just don't wear anymore and they're gonna be sold. I'm going through like all of my clothes, shoes, heaps of active wear. I don't know if you guys have seen in previous videos, this box of clothes that I have. That is a giant box, literally all of active wear that like has either been sent to me or I bought and I just no longer wear because I literally only wear stack stuff now. So that's what I'm doing. Um, enjoy. I'm just stopping for a little break. So what I'm doing, I'm trying to be really cutthroat because I have a lot of clothes and I just, I don't wear heaps of them. Like I don't wear heaps of casual clothes. I wear mostly active wear. A lot of the clothes, like they fit me a bit funny. Like these A brand jeans are like basically brand new and they're sick, like I really like them. But I bought them like a couple of weeks after my bodybuilding competition when I was tiny and they just don't fit my ass. Like literally my ass comes out the bottom and the jeans ride up my ass is so uncomfortable. So I'm getting rid of them. Even though I love them, even though I've barely worn them, I'm like, no, someone else can get them and wear them and get more use out of them. And I'm just like, when's the last time I wore something? If I can't remember, chuck it. I don't think there's anything I've ever thrown out that now I think I'm like, I really wish I still had that top. Cause it's like, if you want something, you just like buy it again. I've already got five bags of shit and the other box full of clothes I'm getting rid of. And now with the wardrobe, I'm just trying to figure out, step into my wardrobe. This is wardrobe one of two. So I've got two of these. So I'm just trying to figure out where to put shit. So my apartment doesn't have heaps of storage. So I can't like box up the jackets or anything to go in a storage cupboard. Cause I just don't have that. These drawers that I can't really reach at the top, I'll put all the winter stuff in there. I don't really use them. I use this section the most. So the things I use the most are active wear and t-shirts. Yeah, so now I'm just trying to figure out where what goes. That makes sense. That didn't take as long as I thought. Like, it was really cutthroat. And I feel like I should do this more regularly. Because there's some things I'm on the fence about. Because I'm like, oh, because I don't go out heaps. I'm like, oh, if I went out, I would wear that. I bet I'll go to go out and either A, I won't wear it, I'll buy something new. Or B, I'll be like, where's that thing I have? No, I won't be like that. But I'll just be like, I have nothing to wear. Throw that wash it. I'm going to get into the other wardrobe now, which is just hanging stuff. And then shoes. And then I'll put everything back in and show you how I do that. This is going to be a really quick YouTube, I reckon. wonder if I can, like, put this with something else. I'm all about adding value. Like, how can I add value to you guys? How can I make this process quick and easy? All right, tips. And things I wish I had before I started doing this. All right, I wish I had more durable bags because the bin bags that I'm using are like cheap ass Coles, Coles bags that are like ripping really easily. I wish I had either boxes or like those black bin bags or those like multicolored giant plastic bags that are reusable. So I'm not like being shit to the environment. And also I'm gonna have to carry these up and down the stairs. So really good bags to put in the clothes that you're gonna be selling or giving away. That's probably it. <laughs> 
crazy for you guys. Nah, but also having a culling system, I reckon. I've heard about the system where when you wear the clothes and they're hanging, you put them back on the rack with the coat rack, like the coat hanger, facing a different way. So that means that anything that's still hanging in there that you haven't worn that season will be facing the other way. And it's just like, oh, cool. I actually never wore that jacket or that chop, top, chop top whatever it might be so then that'll be easier for culling i know some people have like attachment issues with certain items of clothing but literally just try and remember the last time you wore it and be realistic with yourself like how is having a top gonna add any happiness or value to your life like those shorts these shorts i'm like i mean ahhing because they're here and it's like you have that oh i actually read about this in like minimalism but you have like as soon as it's in front of you it becomes more valuable again but as soon as it's gone like I'm not going to think about that ever again unless I watch back this video and I'm like, oh, I really miss those shorts. A brand still exists. I can buy more shorts that actually fit me and I'll actually wear. It's just funny what we do mentally to ourselves to like become attached. All right, that's kind of it for me. Just be brutal, be cutthroat, throw shit out that you don't need because you don't need it. All right. A little different this time. Uh, I told myself that money would never be a factor. Now I'm laughing at Benny Hanna's with benefactors. My son, my soul for an artist's love with them giant raptors. My chef cooking that steak and lobster on giant platters. They don't see where you are. You just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. No! There was a cockroach! Oh my god, I really hope you guys saw that. It's like so traumatic i don't have any bug spray ah well that's put a dampener on the whole thing i'm literally like i feel things on me and i'm like it's on me <laughs> why why are cockroaches such a thing in sydney i lit like i don't want to put any of my clothes back in that wardrobe now why i also stopped to like record that i rewatched it and recorded my reaction and made like a thing on instagram like re repeating the ah! my scream i love taking the piss out of myself so burn the entire wardrobe down then the cull is literally everything now that there's cockroach cockroach infestation ah! Ah, no one's gonna want to buy my shit now Oh my god. I feel hot and flustered. In other news, I found... Why am I doing this? I found this. Focus, you mother. These little things that the shelf sits on because the shelf is currently lopsided. Because it doesn't have it. So that's great. Hey! <laughs> My hair looks atrocious. The glamour is that of a spring clean. Cockroaches being cutthroat. Bye. Safe to say the cockroaches made me go crazy. Yes. These are sentimental because I bought them when I was traveling, but I haven't worn them for ages. So I'm going to do the thing I said to do and just be cutthroat. I hope I don't regret that because I actually bought them in Copenhagen. <laughs> Actually, no, San Francisco. <laughs> so sentimental. <laughs> and now there's all this space there so I can put the sneakers in. Ain't that nice and tidy. Like, you know, when you start something and it's like, it takes over, I literally want to declutter my whole entire house. But anyway, I found this thing that I keep in my room. It's kind of like my dress up box. So it's like things for photo shoots and stuff that I bought. This is stuff that didn't arrive in time for my birthday photo shoot. So I'm now gonna go through this and cull more shit. I should have done like a try on of all the shit that I've got, but also CBF. Oh yeah, something else I realized, take that off, I look silly, is I should have done things I'll throw out and things I'll sell instead of just putting them all into bags. <laughs> There's all these um, swimmers in here from Zafool. The, the famous Zafool, what the f***? The famous Zafool swimwear photo shoot, photo shoot? Swimwear haul, Zafool haul that I did that got over 2 million views on here on YouTube that I took down because I had too many creepos coming. And now it's like, lol, here's all the stuff that I wore. All right, bit of an update with where we're at. I have managed to fill seven bags of clothes that I'm gonna be selling. I have got the bed full of clothes that I'm keeping. This other wardrobe has been done. So this one didn't have much to do. Literally just a few dresses and pieces hanging and then like more formal gowns. 
a couple of shoes, all my sneakers are in this one. And then I've got pajamas, bikini, underwear, and then like jewelry and stuff there. Maybe put some jackets in there if they don't all fit in this one. And then this one, I'm going to put all of that in there. I'm gonna put the jackets and winter stuff in these drawers. And then these drawers will be all my active wear, my crop tops and my tops. Here's obviously prime access. So like easy access. So the things that I wear most frequently, which would actually be active wear, but I like rolling my active wear up like this cause it's easier to reach. So let me figure it out and then show you what I do. Oh my God, no. <laughs> this is not working. The jumpers are taking up so much space. All right, maybe I need to hang the coats in the other wardrobe because there's still space in there and then just put the jumpers in the top ones. This is like, this is not easy. I feel like you guys are going to be watching this and be like, oh my God, you're an idiot. It's so easy. This is the answer. And I'm like, ha! All right, so I'm just going to start putting away the stuff that I know is going to go where all the leggings and shorts for the gym in here and all the crop tops in here because they're like the things I access the most. And then I'm going to put t-shirts and like skirts and shorts and stuff in these. Oh, I don't know, I'm overthinking and I'm panicking. All right, so let me show you how I do this. All right, so with my active wear, I like to group things by brand. So these are all non-stacks. This is literally the only non-stacks active wear I have. It's Lululemon, Gymshark, and We Are Tala, or just Tala. And then the rest is all stacks, which is what I wear. So I push these ones to the back and try to kind of color code them. And then with the stack stuff, I'll order it based on the ones I wear the most. And I'll also keep all of the shorts together. So these are all of the bike shorts. All of my seamless stuff is currently being washed. So these are the black, black ones. And then all my seamless will go here. So I've got literally all stacks. The black is probably what I wear the most. And then the seamless, that's the order it goes in. That's literally all my tights. You'd think I'd have heaps, but I really did color a lot. So now we'll do crop tops in this drawer. All the crop tops in order of brand, but also how I wear them. So these are the Stax Classics, the strappy crops and basic crops, the Seamless, the JH Collection, the Lux Collection, and then um, a handful of random brands that I wear. And then I've got all the like t-shirts and long sleeve crops that I wear. So they're just gonna go along the side here. All right, so now I've grouped my tops into long sleeve tops slash any bodycon dresses. I don't have any. I've got like one long sleeve jumpsuit. That was weird. So long sleeve tops and then I've got cropped and basic kind of t-shirts and then I've got oversized t-shirts and then cuter kind of cropped boob tubes and tops. So I'm going to put them in the top shelf and then I still haven't decided what the others are going to be. And then I've got nice tops which are like these that I'm just going to hang in this section. So what I've done is I've put all the tops short sleeve and long sleeve in this one. And I've put a combination of shorts and sweats, so tracksuit pants at the back here. And then I'm just gonna put the remainder, which is literally just jumpers and pants in the drawers. We're getting there. All right, so I've decided I'm going to put jumpers that I'm still wearing now in this drawer. I'm going to put denim and pants in this one. <coughs> Bless me. I always put things in order of like how Recently, I've been wearing it too. Oh, it's already getting full. My pants, denim. Oh my God, this is all coming together. And look at all this space. Culling is great. Oh my God, it's done. What? That's so confusing. Well, obviously because I culled stuff, I've got way more space. I wish I had a before and after. Let's have a look at the drawers. All right, so we've got crop tops and uh, tops that I wear to the gym. We've got leggings and shorts that I wear to the gym. This is my denim shorts and skirts and nicer skirts. This is like lounge chill kind of shorts and then sweats. Hanging my nice tops and the jackets I'm likely to wear for summer. Or my denim, which isn't heaps because I mean in Sydney you don't wear a lot of denim. And then pants, so these aren't like denim. They're more like, I don't know if you saw my birthday pants, so cool. Yeah, just pants. <laughs> and then in here I've got jumpers that I'm wearing at the moment and then stored jumpers that I'm not wearing. An empty drawer and yeah, these are all the old, like the w very winter jumpers. 
And then my shoes, we've got sneakers on this side and lip flops or thongs or sandals, whatever you call them, depending on where you're from on that side. And then I have all these. That's the next task is like wearing them, photographing them, <laughs> getting a page ready. Um, by the time this video goes up, I'll have the Instagram name, which will be here. Um, so you can head there if you want to buy any of this stuff. That's my decluttering. Like, look, my bed's empty. There's no clothes because done. Oh my God. Look at the bottom of my feet. That's fucked. I need to ward wardrobe. <laughs> I need to vacuum my house. How is it that dirty? That's disgusting. I'm so ashamed. I'm gonna have a shower. God, I look so disheveled, but I, cause I am. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and not just like the most boring shit you've ever seen. If it is, don't tell me. I don't need to know. <laughs> I'm all for feedback, uh, constructive feedback, but just don't be mean to me because I put up the poll on Instagram if people wanted to see it and they said yes. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you guys back here next week for another video. Less boring video, I promise. Mwah.